Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can convert your normal TV or a monitor with HDMI input to an Android TV using a Raspberry Pi 4 models listed here. So we're going to load Lineage OS 18.1 with patches to support Raspberry Pi 4, which has been achieved by Consta Kang uh, author. And on their website, they even mentioned option to download the uh, operating system. Uh, using either a direct flashing or uh, using the OTA. So we're going to go with the direct flashing option. We're going to directly flash it to an SD card. Along with that, Linja OS by default does not have uh, the Google Apps. So you need to do that a separate. Yeah, another step uh, to load the Google Apps once the operating system boots up. So we're going to go ahead and first flash the operating system. Uh, I'm going to use Raspberry Pi Imagers. Go to Custom. And here I'm going to select RPA for ATP, ATP. So that's Android TV. I'm going to choose the flash and I'm going to write it. I'm going to resume back once the flashing is completed. Uh, so it has successfully flashed. Now I'm going to use the SD card, place it to the Raspberry Pi and boot up the Android. I'm going to go ahead and boot the uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, you should see the boot up logo along with lineage uh, boot up sequence or you can say boot animation. So uh, I think we should see the boot animation anytime now. Okay, yeah, there you have it. This is the Lineage OS uh, boot animation. So this might take not, it, it might take not long. Uh, uh, on the first boot, it you know, does boot up faster compared to when once you have loaded the Google Apps. So, uh, okay, let me quickly skip. Uh, on the keyboard, I believe the F1 is home, F2 is back, F3 is open all recent apps, uh, F4 I'm not pretty sure but I remember, F5 is the power menu. So let me try to skip. Uh, start, accept, uh, next, and central daylight, okay, fine, uh, the date, that's not right okay uh, next so uh, I'm going to skip for now and uh, no click next and start so once the OS is all up and running if you see if you go to the apps you have just the file browser nothing more than that uh, so next thing you have to do is go ahead and load the Android apps use the keyboard navigation keys go to system buttons and enable the advanced reboot so you have to use the up down left and right arrow keys to navigate uh, the left i'm now using it to go back um, so once that's done uh, let me scroll below and reboot and the reboot you see this recovery option go ahead and do that so i have uh, booted into the recovery mode so i'll have to go ahead and install um, all the G apps or you can say open G apps is actually in the USB uh, drive which I have mounted to the uh, Raspberry Pi so I'm going to go ahead and select here uh, I have two options either mine the G apps uh, the Google apps or the open G apps mine the uh, G apps is actually maintained by the lineage OS uh, team so I'm going to go ahead and use this but you are all uh, free to go ahead and use even open G apps so uh, I'm going to select that, swipe, con confirm the flash. This should not take a lot of time. Uh, it's basically going to go ahead and copy all the necessary Google applications to your uh, uh, ROM. So yeah, it's already started. It's copying all the necessary files and creating partitions. Uh, that's it. It's done. I'm going to go ahead and reboot and here I'm going to select system. So now it should boot with the Google Apps on board. I've seen that this boot up takes a little longer, maybe because now there are a lot of services, extra services, uh, which needs to start as well.
I'm going to go ahead and you know, press one F1, F2, and you should ask for the setup again. So yes, continue. So on my Android phone, I'm going to uh, say, okay, Google, set up my device. So you have to ensure that your Android phone and your uh, Raspberry Pi is on the same network. So let's see, searching for my Raspberry Pi. Yep, it's going and establishing the connection. So on the screen, you should see, uh, well, let's see, I think there's something wrong. I, have to, I may have to retry again. Um, okay, Google, set up my device. Okay, so um, as you can see, something went wrong. I'm going to restart the whole process again. Connect it, continue. Next. So uh, as you can see, it is quite buggy, uh, but I guess uh, nothing is perfect. Let's see if uh, this works. Uh, so the initial setup failed so let uh, I think it's uh, giving an option to manually go ahead and sign in let's see if I am able to do that I'm trying to search again on my phone but uh, um, maybe that might not work let's see um, okay it's asking me to manually set up so I'm going to go ahead and manually enter my details Okay, so uh, looks like authorization is completed um, and uh, yeah, I think it's done. Um, the setup is completed. Yep, uh, there you have it. Um, so if I go to the apps now, I should have the Google Play Store. And with the Google Play Store, then you can go ahead and install whatever uh, service or whatever apps that are supported. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click search. Uh, first, Chromecast. Uh, I'm going to check if Chromecast. Okay, uh, looks like Chromecast built in. It's already installed. Uh, I'm going to install this. Uh, next should be the YouTube. Oh man, this is really. YouTube. Okay, so that works. Uh, let me install YouTube. Go back. F1. Okay, I think I pressed the home. Uh, let me go ahead and Google Play Store. Um, next would be Chromecast. Okay, it is. It is struggling. Maybe it's installing all the applications in the background. So looks to be struggling here. Yeah. So it's installing the uh, YouTube. Let me uh, quickly open. Okay. It's taking a while, um, but it is. Uh, I guess the main problem is I think it's. Uh, trying to download a lot of uh, things. So for example, the Chromecast built in, it's asking for update. I'm going to do that. F2 to go back. Uh, I believe uh, one more uh, tool which I felt uh, was very good for casting as uh, uh, EasyCast. Uh, let me check. Cast and uh, ah, yeah. uh, so it's air air screen so this is one more 
uh, that allows you to even cast from your iPhone. So uh, iPhone, maybe iPad. Uh, so it supports uh, AirPlay. So uh, this is one more app I would recommend you install uh, along with, uh, you know, built-in tools. Let's see if, uh, yep, if the YouTube is installed. Okay, um, let me log in to my Gmail ID and yep, that's it. I'm using an Indian Gmail ID, so it's showing Indian channels. Okay, uh, now to check if I can actually cast from my phone to the Raspberry Pi based Android TV. So I'm going to open uh, YouTube on my phone. Um, okay, let me find something um, useful. Okay, I'm going to search Raspberry Pi. Okay, so here's the thing. When you try to cache directly using the cache option, uh, you are going to get like untrusted device. Uh, you know, uh, Raspberry Pi 4 could not be verified. So uh, this uh, this could be caused by outdated device firmware. So this is an error you're going to get. So alternate is to link it with the TV code. So there is an option on your phone where it shows link with the TV code. Uh, what you do is open YouTube go to settings and uh, link with TV code. So they are going to give a, a TV code. Just enter that on your phone. So seven, four, nine, six, eight, oh, sorry, six, nine, eight, five, double, two, eight, one, four. And I'm going to link. Yep, that's it. You can see that Prajnit link to device, Xiaomi. So uh, let me try to play a video. It looks to be a little bit uh, slower than usual. Uh, um, again, uh, I'm not quite sure what it could be firmware, it could be Raspberry Pi, it could be the Android device itself. Close the player, let me try to close, disconnect, uh, uh, you know, casting. So it's taking quite a lot of time, even after I disconnect it. It's taking a while to disconnect. I'm guessing because in the background I'm installing a lot of uh, apps uh, in the play store that could be the reason so uh youtube on tv link with tv okay so let me see if it's uh, able to connect i may have to open the youtube app maybe so let me go ahead and open the youtube app okay so yeah, I had to open the YouTube app. So as you can see, I'm able to cast from my phone uh, onto the Raspberry Pi TV. So that works. But again, I'm not sure. I have found that the performance is pretty bad. Uh, it struggles a lot. Um, I'm giving pause, but it's not responding on time. I'm not sure what could be the problem here it could be the raspberry pi it could be a lot of uh, applications that are being downloaded so uh what you can do is that maybe after reboot uh we can try it but yeah uh this is all i wanted to actually show in this uh video uh how to you know set up your raspberry pi as an android tv and uh, you know do useful things with it so that's all i had and uh, if you go actually uh thing is that the author uh, provided this has already released Android 12 that's lineage OS 19 for Raspberry Pi 4 as well and it does work uh, only thing I noticed that the Google open G apps does not work so you have to use the mind G app uh, for you know uh, to make this uh, you can say like installing all the Google apps so uh, please do like share and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.